it's not going to hold long. Melissa's got a youth program down in, in the, the basement for just a little while. And this is actually our youth program. And uh, she's going to be working with them down there this evening. And hopefully once a month we can do this and, and uh, get a good youth program starting here. Uh, but I want to talk a little bit about the love. Uh, the love of Christ and how he proves his love towards us. And I know we talk about the cross and death. And but if if us are not being there and Paul talks about our faith. We we're really saved by grace through faith. Grace is an unmeritable favor that God has for us. He loved us so much that He gave His Son, but, but it really it comes by faith. And here's the way our faith increased. And is faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by the Word of God. So every time we hear this Word of God, and what we hear about it is actually the type uh, a person. This is the good news. That Christ has come. He's the Messiah. He's a man, which is God with us. And and but not only that, but he had a he had to, to prove. When he came here to earth, he was born uh, without anything. He, he was born in a, a stable and laid in a manger. But when he walked here on this earth, all the miracles have you done. Maybe the, the, the blind to see, the lame to walk. But it went farther than that. Even though that was a miracle, and we see that miracle, and, and we hear about it, we read about it, we read about all those miracles, but, but I thought about, can't you imagine, and I'm, I'm coming down to Lazarus, and everybody knows about how... Lazarus was dead, but before I get there, I want to think about, the, can you imagine about the woman that had spent all she had, her health had broke down, and she had spent everything she had. And this is just like Jesus and how much He loves us. And, and He loved me and you when we were in love. And, but yet He died for us. But can't you imagine here a woman that's been everything she had and the press was great and that day she came through and she didn't want to be, it didn't matter where she was recognized or where she was seen, but she knew if she could just touch the hem of his garment she would be made whole. And the Bible says she ran through the press and when she touched her garment, Jesus turns around and says, Who touched me? And he saw her. Eyeball to eyeball. And he knew. And from that, that moment on, she was healed. This is the same way salvation is. And Jesus is trying to describe it and, and, and to make the Jews our his chosen people. And, and Jesus knew that it was going to spread out later. Remember he came to the woman at the well and he asked her if he'd give me a drink of, uh, to give me a drink. And she said she had nothing to draw with. The well was deep. And he said if you knew who I was and what I had to give, he said I'd give you a drink of, of living water that you not thirst. And this is the way Jesus is. This is how much He loves us. And He cares for us. But not only that, uh, I remember that woman that was caught in the very act of adultery and according to the Jewish law and uh, according to the Mosaicial law, that she, they had the right to stone her. But this is the way Jesus is is prove his he's proven his love towards us time and time again. He looks at her. 
And he tells them, said, let him without sin cast the first stone. That's not hard. That's simple. That's the reason why that when we look at people and we, we, we judge people for what they do, we look around and maybe one point at somebody and there's, there's what? Four pointing back at us. And I learned that. That we can't judge people because, see, Christ said, look down and said, and him without sin cast the first stone. <laughs> and he, she, he knelt down twice, but the last time he came up, and everybody was gone. <laughs> and he said, he asked her, said, where's the accusers? And she said, hey, they're gone, they're left. And he said, neither do I condemn thee, go and sin no more. What greater love has somebody that when we were sinners and unlovable that He loved us. And He reached farther down than we could reach up. And it's by grace. These proofs or these testimonials that we have through the, the apostles that follow Jesus and some of these things. Here in the 11th chapter of St. John's Gospel. Married and a washed his feet with oil and dried them with her hair. Jesus, Mary was the sister of Martha and Jesus loved Mary and Martha and their brother, brother Lazarus. In the town of Bethany. It must have been a sad day. And we've seen this in families just this past week. Young men have left this walk alive and left with a testimony, but yet families' hearts were broken. Can't you imagine in Bethany, the hometown of Mary and Martha, and Lazarus was sick. And somebody had looked around probably and said, all the papa carriers and everybody said, if something ain't done, Lazarus is going to die. Lazarus is sick. Mary and Martha said, go, somebody go get Jesus and bring him. And they ran and got Jesus and or found Jesus and said, Look, the one you love is, is sick, Lazarus. And the Bible says that Jesus tarried there two more days. And he said that some had come to talk to him and said, Lazarus is, is sick and, and, and er, Lazarus is sick. And Jesus said, yeah, he's dead. And some said, well, he's dead. And he said, yeah, but he, he, he's not dead. He sleepeth. And they said, well, he doeth good. And he said, no, he's dead. That this must be for the glory of God. And I'm glad that I wasn't me and you wasn't there that day. He said, that, but this must be that, that God would get the glory out of this. And they said, well, you can't go back there. The Jews are after the stone you. And no doubt Thomas looks around and said, let's go with him. <coughs> if he dies, let's die with him. And Jesus said, we must walk in the day. He said, if we walk in the light, we'll not stumble. But if we walk in the dark, we'll stumble. The Bible says when he got there, Martha ran to him. And we know that Jesus is, is the life and the resurrection. Martha said, if you'd been here, he'd not died. But now he's been dead four days. And he said, Martha, I am the resurrection. I am the life. And we know if anybody believes in Him that we'll not die. 
And I'm talking about spiritually. In our spiritual life, our spiritual realm, we'll, we'll not die. We'll spend eternity somewhere. But we'll not die. This body will go back to the last year. I really believe that when my body goes back to the dust there, there'll be the prettiest pile of long soil that can grow anything. Does that make sense? If I was a testing soul, and somebody, when I come back to the dust of the earth and dirt, and somebody comes up and takes a soil sample, they said, that's low. That's a big body. Somebody, but when I lay in the casket, I want people to come by and say that's just his body. Something's done going on with him. Jesus was that resurrection. He loves us. But he came. Mary came to him. Said, You'd have been here last, it's not died. Said, Now he's been dead four days, and he stinketh. Jesus said, where did you lay? Where did you lay? And when they showed him where they laid him, there was a cave with a stone rolled over. And all the Jews that stood around and friends and neighbors and all of them was there and they looked around and said, the Bible said that Jesus wept. How much does he love us? Think about it. Even when the devil's after us and he throws everything in the world and the devil puts that the devil puts that shield in between us and the devil and all those, those old foreign darts that the devil throws at us and, and we, we look around and say, you know, we'll not be tempted above that we're able to bear. But through the temptation, there'll be a way of escape. Way. We'll not be troubled. We'll not be no more than we can stand because He'll be there to protect us. And the Bible says there's an angel that encamps around the house. Jesus said, Roll back the stone. Jesus, He's been dead four days, but now He stinketh. And somebody looks around and said, boy, he sure loved the pastors. If that ain't a type of us as being sinners or us as being human beings and without any hope or nowhere to turn, but yet by grace through faith is a marital favor, he looks down farther than we can look up. And you could put on a teaspoon if you measured faith of how much faith I have. Well, it wouldn't be a drop in peace but how much faith I had. And I know that I needed to say it. I know that I needed to it. Just like Lazarus, he, the Bible says he cried, Lazarus, come forth! And Lazarus come in the great clothes and they had him wrapped in and, and Jesus says, loose him and let him go. I've been set free. Praise God, I've been set free from the bondage and sin that I carry. I'm free from those chains and fetters of sin that I Well, it's good to be here tonight. I give you what God gave me. And I, I appreciate you for the time. Let's stand.